Babington horse trials, one of the highlights of the international eventing calendar. Everyone wants to win and everyone is on show. This year the main arena is sponsored by Crown Pavilions and one of the spectators is Canadian businesswoman Gabriella Atkinson. The badminton showground is the perfect setting for the Crown Pavilion stand and Gabriella is already making herself at home by holding an impromptu meeting with a Canadian team trainer. It's this relaxed, sophisticated atmosphere that Gabriella now intends to create with her own Crown Pavilion at Pennybridge, her palatial home in East Sussex. I was actually thinking it might be quite good if we could uh, incorporate a bar with some stools there. Okay. So I thought that was a good idea. I'm actually going to chop back this line here, okay. which is going to cut right down. I'm going to square the garden off. This unused piece of land at the side of the house is going to be the setting for the biggest crown pavilion ever built, with surrounding gardens and a fantastic view. The area will be landscaped by Crown Gardens. As work begins at Pennybridge, there's another build taking place at Gabriella's equestrian centre, Bedgebury Park, where she's creating an Olympic-style cross-country course. What I'm trying to do both at Bedgebury and at Pettybridge is create a quality product that we can all enjoy and have fun with. At Pennybridge, I can use the pavilion to entertain my friends, my family, but also use it as a place where I can socialise on a professional level as well. Key to the design of the pavilion is the landscaping and planting round it, and where better to get ideas than at the Chelsea Flower Show. The top gardeners in the world are exhibiting here, and Gabriella is looking forward to the completion of her own grand design. Coming to Chelsea has been really inspirational. I love the Crown Pavilion, but that's the, the, the centrepiece, and from there we've got to create the rest of the garden. So from my point of view right now, sitting here, I can enjoy what's going on out around me, but at the same time I feel really comfortable and relaxed. And I can imagine at Pennybridge, we would be having the children run around in the garden and having people wor working on the barbecue and listening to the water feature and relaxing and enjoying the space. So that's what I envision the pavilion will do for me. It will just be a place where I can sit down and enjoy the outdoors and be comfortable at the same time. The construction of the pavilion is amazingly quick. Just eight weeks from the original agreed plan to the finished product, and that includes the landscaping. The outdoor kitchen, the lavender garden, it's the personal touches that make this build so special. It's the first time we've gotten a crowd of people together. I've got family here, I've got friends here, I've got business acquaintances, and everybody's come together and we've all sat together, we've had a laugh, had a wonderful meal. It's just flowed so effortlessly. It's just been fantastic. Well, it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? It's incredible. What a place to spend an evening. It's actually better than what I expected. Like when it was being built, I didn't think it was going to end up looking quite as like amazing. So I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. As day turns to evening, the two ceiling heaters keep the pavilion warm so the party can go on well into the night. But what's most impressive about the way the pavilion has been built, the way Gabriella and Crown Pavilions have designed it together, is that it already looks as though it's always been here.